How's our passenger? She's still aging? What a surprise. Just so you Jedi know, the whole cryptic routine isn't mysterious, it's just irritating. If you really can see the future, you should be at the Pazak table. What was that, some kind of joke? That's what I'm talking about. Jedi talk. You two should start your own little Jedi Academy. All right, cut it out. I get, I get it, I get it. Last Jedi in the galaxy, I get the comedian who runs around in her underwear. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. I mean, compared to the Jedi Queen of the galaxy back there, I'd rather be stuck in an escape pod for a year with you than her. Then she must be royalty. Because she's got to be queen of the galaxy to bark out orders like that. Or maybe she's senile. I mean, how old do you think she is? She may have been good looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. Hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be dropping out of hyperspace into the Nar Shaddaa Red Sector right now. After spacing that old witch, of course. Whoa, all right, all right, don't get mad at me. Hey, I didn't ask her to stay behind and get her hand cut off, okay? I mean, I appreciate what she did and all, but she could stand to lay off the insults herself, you know? Like we have a choice? It's the only place Baragas had logged in their astrogation charts. You know, if you thought Baragas was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. So? What happened? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Oh yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? Huh. I hear the Twin Blades are harder to master, but they can make enemies stampede over each other running for cover. A lot of Jedi in the Mandalorian Wars use double-bladed sabers. A more aggressive blade gives you more slaughter per swing. Hey, you didn't go red, did you? Yeah, unique how? Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those Sith think twice before coming after us. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Should be there before too long. Attention, this is Citadel Station Bay Control, Dock Module 126. Please remain where you are. Lieutenant Dolgren will arrive shortly to meet you. That is all. I don't like the sound of that. If they think we caused the explosion... Uh-oh. Here comes the welcoming party. They may not know what happened, so don't blow it. I'm Lieutenant Gren, Tilo Security Force. I'm under orders to take you into custody in regards to the destruction of the Paragas Mining Facility. 
You haven't been formally charged, but you will be placed under house arrest pending the results of our investigation. Due to the nature of the investigation, I have no specific timetable to offer you. In the meantime, your ship and any droids will have to be given over for safekeeping. Yes, that includes you. You are a droid, so you will be detained. In addition, we will have to take your personal arms and armor until the completion of our inquiry. If you are cleared of any involvement, your personal effects will be returned to you. You will be held briefly in the TSF station until living quarters can be arranged, at which point you will be placed under house arrest. Do you understand? Good. My men will relieve you of any arms and armor. Please follow me. Tell me I'm not going to jail again. You will be held here briefly. Living quarters are being arranged for you and your companions as we speak. Someone will return shortly to escort you to an apartment in Residential Module 082. I have many matters to tend to. Your questions will have to wait. Well, we might be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. Someone is coming. So this is the last of the Jedi. I must admit I'm a little disappointed. Jedi or no, you're the one I am pledged to kill. There is no mistaking that. The Exchange has a bounty on Jedi, you know. You're worth quite a bit of money. The Exchange, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some two-bit pistol jockey like yourself isn't one of them. Hey, I'm more than skilled enough to work for the Exchange. You bounty hunters couldn't even win a fair fight. You're the cheapest, most worthless mercenary scum in the galaxy. I'd hire a Mandalorian over your filth in a second. No Mandalorian could match my skills. No Mandalorian could have been clever enough to infiltrate this station, taken the identity of one of the guards, then... Then what? Overloaded our force cage fields and made it look like an accident? You probably don't even have the guts to fight me. <laughs> Pathetic. Don't think overloading your cages had not occurred to me. You're wanted alive, but I doubt anyone will care as long as I bring them your corpse. The security cameras have mysteriously shorted out. There will be no witnesses to your escape attempt, during which I'll have been forced to kill you. By the time the TSF realize I'm not one of them, I will be far from this place. Easier for me, then. Come, Jedi. It is time to die. Hey, leave her alone. You want to fight? Then try me, if you've got the guts. You have goaded me once, and you shall not do so twice. But I shall dispose of all of you eventually, and an old woman, a fool, and a broken Jedi are no match for my skills. The security cameras are... What? What's going on here? Man down! Quick! Call a medic! All right, Jedi. I want you to back up slowly. Hands in front of you. Into the Force cage. Cooperate, and we won't have to gun you down. Come on, Lieutenant. They've already killed... Uh, uh, who is that? Is that Batu Rem? Rem's no assassin. Batu Rem is on leave. He shouldn't even be on the station. This man isn't him. That's something we're going to have to look into. I can tell you that it can't have been easy. We've arranged for an apartment in Residential Module 082. You'll stay there under house arrest until our investigation of the Paragras matter is complete. You'll be under TSF protection. 
I'll personally clear any visitors to your quarters and we'll investigate this incident to the best of our ability. Officer, at Lieutenant Yima a report of this incident. She'll look into this. The rest of you come with me. We'll escort you to the apartment in 082 immediately. These will serve as your quarters for the duration of your house arrest. Two officers will be stationed outside at all times. Again, I'll clear any visitors. There won't be another incident. But just to be on the safe side, why don't you leave us a blaster or two? I can't say. We have a ship examining what's left of the Paragas facility now, so your stay might be brief. We'll keep you informed. Now, this is a step up from a force cage, at least. If there are any problems, we'll use the wall terminal to contact you. Let's go. This isn't good. We've got to get off this station. What do you think the TSF is going to find at Paragus? That could bring the SIP. You know what? Forget it. As long as we're trapped here, it doesn't matter. We cannot stay in any one place too long. But our path has brought us here for a reason. I must meditate on this. In the meantime, we should rest. Yeah, you go ahead and meditate. As for me, I could use some sleep. Excuse me, you have a caller. Moza, representing the Ithorian planet restoration interests on Telos. Lieutenant Grenz cleared him if you'd like to speak with him. Very well. I'll let him in now. Sit 
Sidan Delfa Van Nino Van Delfa Linda Kufta Kufta Dan Delfa Hoi Sidan Delfa Sidan Delfa Van Nino Van Delfa Linda Kufta Perhaps Chodahabad should turn his eyes to his own people if they truly suffer so. He endured it out, and he behind Gorukia. Sidan Delfa Van Eno Van Delfa, Linda Kufta. When Gun does, Hoi Sidan Delfa, Papuilda. Now perhaps we will be able to rest uninterrupted. Yes, have you come with quest? Good day, I am B4D4, Administrative Assistant for Zerka Corporation's Citadel Station Branch. I am attempting to connect you with Executive Officer Jana Lorso. May I put you through? Thank you. I will connect you now. Good day. Thank you for accepting my call. As my assistant no doubt informed you, I am Jana Lorso. I understand that you were approached by Nathorian earlier. Doubtless he tried to obtain your help, attempting to purchase it with imposed guilt and veiled threats. Oh, and I suppose he didn't mention the exchange, helping you with any problems here? In other words, the Athorians won't lead the exchange to you if you work with them. Well, no matter. My apologies. I never intended to waste your time discussing Athorians. I believe you're a person of influence, someone I'd like on my side, rather than aiding the Athorians whose quasi-mysticism and bumbling foolishness is standing in the way of progress and profit. I'm not asking for your help, though. I'm offering you a job. Work for Zerka and be handsomely rewarded. You'd be helping yourself. If you're interested, please visit our offices here in Residential 082. B44 will know what to do when you arrive. Their plans for the restoration of Telos are aimless and meandering. Restore the sacred, natural beauty of Telos, they say. Just what does that mean? How does that apply to natural resource development and consumption? The proper planning of urban sectors, resorts and tourism? It doesn't. The Athorians are spending billions of Republic credits on a plan with no defined profit. If it continues, they'll drive the Republic into irreparable debt and have nothing to show for it but a few meadows and a weather generator the size of a small continent. I'd rather discuss that in person. I'll be more than happy to answer any and all questions when you visit our offices. Excellent. Good luck with that messy investigation, and I hope to see you shortly. We should get back to bed. Whenever they decide to release us, we should get going immediately. Explain something to me. I do not have the years required, nor the desire to indulge you. If she served in the war, well, Jedi are supposed to be tough, capable. Yes, and what are they without the Force? Take the greatest Jedi Knight, strip away the Force, and what remains? They rely on it, depend on it more than they know. Watch as one tries to hold a blaster, as they try to hold a lightsaber, and you will see nothing more than a woman, or a man, a child. But to lose so much, I guess I didn't realize how much they relied on it. Do not be surprised. In many ways, even you are more capable than a Jedi. You could survive where they could not simply because you do not hear the Force as they do. It is irony of a sort, and it is why I tolerate your presence now. But such a loss of ability for a Jedi, it seems so extreme. She has been gone from war some time. It is conflict that strengthens us, and isolation that weakens us, erodes us. Add to that that she turned away from war, did all that she could to forget it, and the last piece clicks into place. But we have spoken enough of this. 
and we do her a disservice by not speaking of this while she is present. I've come to inform you that the Talosian government has completed its inspection of what's left of the Paragas facility. It appears that the Harbinger had indeed been present, though it was gone when our ships arrived and was responsible for the station's destruction. Logs recovered from the facility's wreckage indicated that the miners perished as a result of sabotage, which began while you and your companions were either incapacitated or incarcerated. As such, you are to be released from house arrest. However, the Republic is sending its own ship. They have insisted that you remain on station for the duration of their search. To further investigate the station's destruction and search for their missing ship, the Harbinger. The sojourn is already en route, likely not more than a few standard days. Feel free to use these quarters during your stay. The vessel's IND is complete. Please visit the TSF station in Entertainment Module 081 to complete the necessary paperwork at the front desk. The Evan Hawk should be transferred from the impound docks by the time you're free to leave. After filling out the paperwork, it'll be transferred with your ship along with your confiscated weapons and armor. Well, now what? We can't just stick around. We need to find a way off this station. Whether it's the Ebon Hawk or some other ship. We could hit Nar Shada, maybe. If you've got people coming after you, it's where you go to get lost in the crowd. Hey, everyone needs to get lost once in a while. Get away from something, you know? It's no big deal. Look, this place is a waste. If Telos wasn't doomed before Paragus blew, it is now. Even more so if your friends from Paragus come calling. Because it depends on Citadel Station, and the Citadel depends on Paragian fuel and the Republic Senators. The Citadel's fuel source went up with the mining facility. And the bickering Senators? <laughs> Not something worth counting on. It is difficult to say. I feel we came to Telos for a reason, but we may have spent too much time here already. Even if the Harbinger was destroyed at Paragus, more Sith could already be on their way. Still, there is a chance we might learn of other Jedi here, on the planet's surface. Jedi who might help us restore your abilities, or sever the link between us. Well, what do you think? Makes sense. I'll follow your lead. Sobo junsa ma pitom, no sukama rontisi renti, manama do sokanki, tiso maranesh in sando krampa molektek, marawa na chiso luchraka.
Your speech is filled with maybes and perhaps. You are bold to make promises of healing while the world under your care burns and dies. You may be able to help, but there is always a price, is there not? <laughs> Sidon, 
Tere wana jun konata de la raguna tuna dai rinto ron kawere kare papa nala ranchinga de rache we meno to tore re sen senten that didn't look like an accident to me or my associate here it looked like you wanted to make a fool of him chara nana gundoso re mina ke lorak to guru katada fiore to ro pada no ringa tel kamarada tel fibu nu bu de bikarana cheni rara not even an apology that won't do at all this soliston here had a few things to say about us that we didn't take to so well we're just trying to work out our differences. Tana besoran kati. Go na ring pang semi sanchera. Go la maraxa dun. Dosich min falar sersen ke la folorondon. De rantasha beni hulen ben selerente. Dosane grabala dentro que wa fa tera tan chingradana. Tere wana jun konata de la guna tuna. Dai rinto ron kawere kare papanala ranchinga. De racha we menoto tore re semi senten. This doesn't have anything to do with you stranger. Just move right along. Have a drink in the cantina. Yeah, or what? You're gonna teach me a lesson? Go ahead. I hate your kind anyways. Keep your nose in your own business. Then you shouldn't have gotten involved.
Dosen taurin teri. Kele reson to shenig rexi kontunso des jun karatata. Deru intu runto wakere koe wap kere bu. Ninso telepashan ko sadara nane kraer kra ta nono ta choloren. Chara nana gundoso remina ke lorak tu kuro katada. Fiara tora pada no ringa tel kamarada telefibu nubu da bikarana cheni rara. Dosen taurin teri. Kele reson to shenig rexi kontunso des jun karatata. Deru intu runto wakere koe wap kere bu. Ninso telepachan ko sadara nane kraer kra da nono ta choloren. Public ship was supposed to have arrived to take control of the situation here. I hope it's not too late. The problems are becoming too much for the TSF to handle. Welcome to Entertainment Module 081's TSF station. How may I be of assistance? I will call up the appropriate information now. One moment. Searching. One moment. I regret to inform you that the Ebon Hawk is gone. The TSF believes it was stolen and is currently investigating. It seems the Ebon Hawk was transferred to Telos' surface instead of an impound dock. However, both the requester and the point of delivery are unknown. In addition, the vessel is not showing up at any government-sanctioned landing site. I would conjecture that it has been stolen, and the TSF records have been illegally accessed and modified. I knew it! That stupid T3 unit stole our ship. It's probably joyriding through the system right now, laughing at us, laughing at me. That is unlikely. While your utility droid is not accounted for, Numerous satellites track all incoming and outgoing vessels. There is no record of the Ebon Hawk leaving the system. Wait, you're saying the ship's actually somewhere on Telos' surface? I don't understand. Telos' atmosphere is highly corrosive outside the shielded restoration zones. Where else could someone land safely? I'm sorry. I'm afraid that's all the information I have for you. Of course, the quarters in residential module OE2 will remain yours until the situation is resolved. Fortunately, your possessions were kept in the armory and were uncompromised. I will open the door for you so that you may retrieve them. You will find them in one of the security lockers. I am not qualified to answer that question. However, it is unlikely that someone could steal a starship from under TSF observation without considerable backing. If your vessel has been stolen, there is a fair chance that the Exchange possesses relevant information. I do not know what else to suggest beyond waiting in your quarters for further word. The Exchange is a major intergalactic crime syndicate. They are trying to gain a foothold in the Citadel. 
most likely seeking to integrate themselves as fully as possible with the new Telos. It is rumored that the Bumani Exchange Corporation, located in Residential Module 082, is a front for the exchange on Citadel Station. Not beyond investigating the matter and extending our offer of free room and board. Thank <laughs> you. 